It's only a matter of time now before the first Cronenberg movie since Maps to the Stars in 2014 graces movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. UK police are in contact with the cabinet office after a leaked email shows Boris The massive scope of the MCU has allowed Marvel Studios to create a sprawling, interconnected universe built on a shared continuity. And much like the comics the movies are based on, that means things can get pretty complicated. 40s. Instead, like most universes, this one starts at the Big Bang. Going chronologically, the first event we see in the MCU is the creation of the Infinity Stones. As the Collector explains in Guardians of the Galaxy, they were formed from the six singularities that caused the universe to explode into existence before being scattered across the universe. That, of course, was billions of years ago, but millions of years before we get to the present-day MCU, Ego the Living Planet comes into existence and starts seeding worlds with his Wakanda when a warrior shaman receives a vision from the goddess Bast and founds a dynasty of kings known as the Black Panthers. Believe it or not, there is not a whole lot that happens between the unification of Wakanda and the 20th century. The first big event that we see in the movies is the arrival of, well, the first Avenger. In 1942, a Nazi officer known as the Red Skull creates a splinter group called Hydra. With the discovery of one of the Infinity Stones, he could learn to fight and kept me in terror by threatening to eat me. Eat you? Yeah. In 1989, Pym resigns from the SSR after finding out that they intended to use his Pym particles to create weapons. The organization has also now been renamed the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. That's quite a mouthful. It turns out that the Kree are the bad guys, with Yong Rog and Ronan the Accuser en route in search of the Infinity Stones that will end their war of conquest once in front of a dire emergency. Inspired by Carol and her original call sign, Fury lays the groundwork for the Avengers Initiative, a program designed to create a team of superpowered heroes to deal with large scale threats like alien invasions. In 1999, Tony Stark meets bioengineers Maya Hansen and Aldrich Killian at a conference in Bern, Switzerland. He's very rude to Aldrich. After the Hulk inadvertently injures Banner's girlfriend Betty Ross, he attempts to go underground but returns to America in search of a cure for his condition. He winds up dealing with a scientist named Samuel Stearns, whose attempt to recreate the Hulk turns Special Forces soldier Emil Blonsky into the monstrous abomination. Six months after by Thanos to recover the Tesseract from Earth, in exchange, Thanos gives him control of the Chitauri, a massive army of hive-minded destroyers. Loki agrees because he's apparently in one of his moods that day. The result is the Battle of Manhattan, in which the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Hulk, and Hawkeye, are gathered for the first arms. While Cap fights to restore his best friend's memories, the Hydra plot is exposed, and in the aftermath, S.H.I.E.L.D. collapses, leaving the plan up big time, instead creating a genocidal robot named Ultron, who winds up destroying an entire country, Sokovia. Tony and Banner decide that if at first you don't succeed, make another robot and hope he's not genocidal. They transform Tony's onboard AI, Jarvis, into a much more heroic AI called the Vision. The following year seems Helmut Zemo's plan to destroy the Avengers reach its fruition. As the world responds to the destruction of Sokovia by trying to... On the news at 5.30 this evening, advice on close contacts. The government is looking at cutting the restriction period. Businesses say the whole system needs to be reviewed. If we can change it um, in, in Ireland. It comes on the same day as the World Health Organization warns about the rising rate of the Omicron variant across Europe. More. Father for Boris, anger over new claims about a bring-your-own-booze party in Downing Street during England's first lockdown. He a day after winning his deportation case, Novak Djokovic is now being investigated by the Australian Border Force of questions about false travel claims. A man in the US is in recovery after receiving a breakthrough pig heart transplant. The history of in, in, in a human. And in sport, the outgoing Munster head coach, Johan van Graan, insists he's fully committed to the province. Good evening. The government is getting advice around the rules for close contacts from the National Public Health Emergency Team this evening. Well, the European Centre for Disease Control has already said that the restriction period could be cut. 
Separately today, the World Health Organization has warned that half of Europe's population is likely to be infected by the Omicron variant in the coming weeks. Well, our news correspondent Richard Chambers is at the Department of Health for us this evening. So Richard, what more do we know about this new NEFID advice and what the government is likely to do in the wake of it? Well, Clat, we know that the three main party leaders from the coalition of February, Clat. Thank you for that. Well, the restriction period for close contacts continues to cause problems for businesses right across the country. The employers group IBEC is now calling for a full review of the close contact system. Our news correspondent, Sarah King, is at IBEC headquarters for us this evening. So, Sarah, what more does IBEC have to say about this issue of close contacts and the restriction period? Sarah King, thank you very much for that. Now, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing calls to resign over reports that another party was held in the garden of his home while the UK was in lockdown in 2020. It's the latest in a long line of allegations that has seen Johnson's leadership come under increasing pressure. Virgin Media News. Leaving Cert 2022 may be six months away, but a difference of opinion on how it should go ahead has already emerged. The Secondary Students' Union says there should be an option for a traditional exam and calculated grades, but teachers disagree. With your news. The Special Criminal Court will hear an application next week by lawyers for the former Defence Forces member Lisa Smith to dismiss the charges against her. The 39-year-old from Dundalk in County Louth is accused of membership of ISIS and of financing terrorism. 2021 was a record year for job creation in companies backed by Enterprise Ireland. The state agency helped to create almost 12,000 positions last year. Our economics correspondent Paul Coggan has been going through its annual report. Paul Coggan reporting there. Now, Novak Djokovic is at the centre of another legal row in Australia. The tennis world number one, who was allowed into the country by a court yesterday, is being investigated by the Australian Border Force. News. Now, the Department of Health has just released you. Now, coming up next on the news at five... Now, Ireland's only charity-led air ambulance service is calling on the government to release funding so that it can remain operational. It's been responding to an increasing number of calls. Jimmy D News Cork. A man in the US has become the first person in the world to get a heart transplant from a pig. David Bennett is recovering in hospital after the first of its kind operation. Doctors say... Now you can keep up to date with all the latest breaking news online. Our next bulletin is at 8 o'clock here on Virgin Media One. But for now, have a very good evening.